<laughs> yeah, that's probably illegal meeting. The mayor's here, the city council president, and then Jan and Tom over there. And Pete, what'd they say? That looks like an interesting conversation. All right, let's get her cranking this morning. Danny Benson up here. Danny, you're in that big movie, and uh, Dan, you were just Dan Totten up here with the Dan Totten Law Firm down on Jefferson Street. You said you were at Bama in 1974. I was. This movie that's mm -hmm. taking place took place in 74. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about this movie, Danny. Well, it's, it's based on a true story that occurred down in Birmingham uh, between... Two a couple schools. of high schools basically that were really rivals, Woodlawn and Banks High School, right. and um, they um, they're taking the story and, and and revolving the whole thing around Tony Nathan that that really was the the origin. Wasn't of the he number twenty two? He was. Uh -huh. yes. Yep. The um, um, Jeff Rutledge was played on the other team. Was Banks High School's right. quarterback? Yeah. They have. Um, I play a Banks assistant, Banks High School assistant, who was. <laughs> that school was a little bit different. They looked at uh, intimidation a little bit different. They use the racism in the, uh, as, as, a, as a form of, of intimidation, and uh, the coach allowed it. And this was, like I say, back in the early 70s, so it's been a long it time. It says ago. they had 42,000 people show up for that champ for that ball game between those two undefeated the teams. They oh, did, they, and they had people they turned away. They, I think, were, were doing construction, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, on the, on the upper deck of Legion Field. So they filled up the bowl. Of, of Legion Field, basically, uh, for a high school ball game. Still, the record holds today for the for the South really? East for high schools. Now, we all were there. You were there about two weeks ago. I was. And what was your part? I play a Banks High School uh, assistant, a coach assistant there. Now, you uh, said it was mighty nippy down there. It was. Huh. The weather, the weather kind of snuck up on them. You know, we got some early cold weather, and we were doing rain shots where they make it rain on us, and yeah, it got me good. It I got mean, a lot of other people. Well, too. What are some of the famous actors that are in that? Uh, Rudy? Well, yeah, Rudy, uh, Sean, the Sean line Astin. line was about uh, it being uh, cold in Red Dawn. Yeah, he, uh, uh, C. Thomas Howell plays my head coach, and I'm, I'm in most of my scenes are with him, but he uh, he told me uh, that Thursday night standing at Legion Field, he said, this is the coldest shoot I've ever been on, and I did Red Dawn. Oh, and my I thought, and they, I know I remember them out in the snow and all, you know, playing out in the snow. Now, John Voight's there today playing Bear Brown. Uh, should be there probably uh, another, the early part of this week and then gone, yeah. He's in and out. But, uh, so are you done? Yeah, finished up. Mm -hmm. Now, the other day, we were at Apple, get the store at Bridge Street, getting my new iPad here, and the guy, assistant there working with us, and he said, I said, what do you want to be? He said, I want to be an actor. I said, man, I can set you up. <laughs> Hollywood Hunts, were you still teaching out there? Yes, sir. He yes, sir. Finally got back to do some teaching, thank goodness. So, What's yeah. your next role, do you know yet? Uh, no, right now, we, I've, I've got this old beard I read for a, a, a character, a farmer character last week, and I'm just kind of hanging on to it. To Danny, see. that's not a beard. Well, oh, that's a beer. This Gruff, is yeah. a beer. That's a beer. Yeah. That, <laughs> that's a beer. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you were in. Uh, you, you do. You've done a lot with Will Ferrell. You've been George Clooney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you ever gonna get me in? I mean, well, it's, well, it's, uh, it's me just. Me and Dan might want to take a Any of these people see you with me, it's over for me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now I ain't gonna read. I already told him, Dan. I ain't gonna read for this. I gotta have it when I get there. Oh, okay. That's how it no, works. That's. Uh, I've not run into that yet. Dan. I don't know. It, I don't know probably what that's like. Yeah. All right. Well, happy Thanksgiving. Dan Totten, how long have you been an attorney in that? Since 79. 79. Right. You are probably the best known attorney, criminal defense attorney in this part of the country. No doubt. Bad news travels around. For <laughs> <laughs> what is that saying, you dad? If you're rotten, call Totten? That's it. <laughs> That's on your business card. If you've done something rotten, call oh, Dan Totten. Pete uh, Lamb's buddy. Uh, who was it? Uh, Gary Poole yeah. made those cards up for me. Yeah. It actually sticks. Why did Good you say you graduated the University of Alabama? Now, what's your story about Bear Bryant? What would you want to say about that? About this time of year in '76, he had put written his book with John Underwood, uh, Bear, and he was having an auto uh, book signing out at Gaffer's, which is a department store out in Old McFarland Mall in Tuscaloosa. So I went out to buy a book for my mother for Christmas. She was the biggest Bear Bryant fan alive. When I got there, the line was all the way at, down the hall at Gaffer's, so I went down to the Vucare Lounge and had a few bracers. <laughs> and I turned around and was going back to get the book, and here he comes down the hall, Coach Bryant with, with his, his uh, assistant head coach, Sam Bailey. And I said, well, I missed him, but I went up to him, because I was in good shape to go talk to him. Yeah. And went up and stuck my hand out and told him, Coach, you're the best that ever lived. And he gave me that old limp fish handshake oh. and just grunted. So I went back home uh, dejected and w went back a few days later and bought the book. I was living in an apartment next to John and Molly Plunk, and uh, <laughs> Lewis and Alec 
Campbell. Lewis was a, a graduate assistant in Alabama and a defensive back at Arkansas. So I gave the book to Lewis, Lewis and asked him if he'd take it to Coach Bryant and get it signed from my mother. And he said, well, sure I will. And he took it out and brought it back. And I thought he'd have, you know, Merry Christmas, Paul Bryant. But uh, he wrote an epistle inside that book to my mother. Uh -huh. It was so beautiful, and I never will forget it. Where's the book now? It is at my brother's house. <laughs> oh, that That's is right. so sweet. So you don't even have the book? No. Uh, when, when my mother died, most of her things were kept by my brother and his wife out at their house. And I could go get it if I, if I wanted to. It's in a safe place. Yeah, I remember the night I interviewed Bear Bryant. I was down, you know, when the Rick Davis I talked to, with Adrian dying this week, I talked to a bunch of people I used to work with at 31. And we, I'd take somebody from went to school with you, my brother or somebody else, if nobody else wanted to go, we'd go down there. So I'm in there that night. This is in the golly mid 70s, and Bear Bryant's back there smoking. Got that thing. He was like, "What are you gonna ask me, son? I am basically petrified." <laughs> you know, uh, you know, it's Bear Bryant he's talking to. We interviewed him once, and at practice when he had the uh, thing tower. overlooking the tower, he just got up, and walked off. You know, just he was done. Bear Bryant. <laughs> when I started practicing in Tuscaloosa, uh, Jimmy Woodruff, who's a circuit judge yeah. here now, was a law clerk of mine. He had a buddy in law school, uh, Jimmy Houston, from the Tri-Cities, and they were, of course, nuts over Coach Bryant. And they would go down to the basement of the Stafford Hotel in Tuscaloosa once a week to get their hair cut, hoping they'd run into Bear Bryant or Sam Bailey and get the scoop, they called it. Uh, and uh, that went on until we left. All right, see that shot right there? <coughs> the guy in the back looks like a 70s porn star, but that's actually me. A buddy Jim <laughs> Keller got that. I'm on the field with Bear at Birmingham, Legion Field, probably 70, I'm thinking 75, 76. Uh, yep, and that's me with a fumon and the hair right there in the background. All right, <coughs> Dan, what do we need to know about your law firm? You got Lucas taking it up morning off? Check website, new website. Up yeah, he was real busy today, and, and uh, I'm real proud of Lucas Beatty. Great lawyer, good friend, good boy. So there's always plenty of people for you to come and hire you, right? Well, uh, it, I've been blessed. Business has been good. Well, good. Sure. It's an honor to have you up here this morning. Thank you all for doing business with us. Thank Lucas you. doing a fine job. Dan Totten, founder of the Dan Totten Law Firm right there on Jefferson Street. And Danny, Dan good to Totten see you. Thank you, buddy. And have a good Thanksgiving over with your moms. And, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Get back when you can. Glad you feel it better.